What's up guys this is Hardik here and I know that I am late in this game here but today I'll be reviewing and telling you guys if the Android 7.1.2 is stable enough regarding the battery life, the performance and every other thing and if you could rock this on your daily driver. So this here is my Nexus 5X here with me right now and I'll be going through all the performance, the battery life, the issues that I'm facing or not facing and basically everything about this. 7.1.2 beta release for the Nexus 5X. So without any further ado, let's get started. So first of all, just for you guys to know, I was rocking the Pure Nexus ROM on my Nexus 5X before this. Uh, I also did review that. So if you want to check that review out, there'll be a link in the description below or there'll be a card right over here. But yeah, after that, I did flash the factory image 7.1.1 on my 5X. And after flashing that, I did register to the Android beta program. And after registering, I got the notification for the software update uh, for the 7.1.1 beta on my Nexus 5X. So I did that, everything went fine. Uh, so one thing that everyone is complaining about in this ROM or in this image is that the fingerprint sensor that we're talking about here is not fast enough anymore. I mean, sometimes it does good, but other times like 20% of time it fails to read my finger. Uh, it didn't used to happen on the Pure Nexus ROM, nor it did happen on the stock 7.1.1. But for some reason uh, on the 7.1.2, sometimes let's say 10% of times the fingerprint fails to read my finger. So that's like, a uh, I mean, it's it's a common issue for most of the people, but yeah, I've just I'm just letting you guys know that the second issue I found was I don't know if if this happens to everyone, but at least for me, uh, when I place my widget over here and after I reboot my 5x, the widgets do not load automatically. I mean, I have to always remove them first and then add them again to make them work. So I don't know if everyone has this issue, but for me, this issue exists and it's like pretty annoying at times. So the third issue basically is actually not that bad, but if you're like too much into your phones and stuff, it may bug you sometimes. So I don't have that many apps right now, but sometimes Sawan here, the music player stops working. The split wise force closes sometimes. Sometimes Instagram force closes. Sometimes WhatsApp force closes. I mean, it's not daily, but it did happen to me once in a while. So I mean, I don't mind that happening. After clearing it from the recents and opening that again, it basically goes off. I mean, it works fine after that, but for an instance, it does happen on our Nexus 5X. So yeah, those were the bugs slash issues uh, I was talking about other than that this ROM has been like really really smooth as you can see the transitions are fine even RAM has been pretty good on this I mean uh, as you know that beta releases affect the RAM sometimes but this this has been like really really smooth in my opinion uh, so yeah now let's talk about the features I mean I'm not sure about all the small features that the 7.1.2 gave us but the main thing here is if we just go into the gestures or the moves real quick uh, as you can see the first one here is swipe for notifications so finally this has been added on to our nexus 5x and hopefully it will be added on your, on our nexus 6p as well so let us just quickly check that out so if i just swipe my finger on the fingerprint there you can see i'm swiping and there you go so once i swipe that up it's gone up so that's like a really 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 neat feature to have on our nexus 5x some were saying that this was a pixel exclusive feature but google has finally added it on our nexus 5x i i'm not sure that if they'll be continuing this feature in the future beta releases as well but as for now we have the gesture here and it works pretty fine i mean it's it's not that bad sometimes it fails but other times like 95 percent of times it works so no issues on that as well so yeah now let's talk about the main thing or the main question that everyone asks while testing a rom so yeah what about the battery life so the battery life has been really 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 good for me uh, I mean, I did a clean install or, or a clean flash basically. So battery life for me has been really good. So as for now, uh, we are on 98%. I did full charge this right now. And the screen on time has been 15 minutes. So there you can see. But yeah, I've been using this ROM for like a day or so. 
uh, I did flash it yesterday so for the first day and for the first charge the battery life has been really really good I mean I have never gotten such battery life even after flashing a custom ROM or tweaking the kernels and stuff like that but as for the first charge the, the battery life was like really really good so now I'll be quickly displaying few screenshots on my screen over here and as you can see for yourself the battery life for the first day uh, I mean I'm not that heavy user but I had LTE on for a couple of hours then I then I was on Wi-Fi for the entire day so as you can see the dose here works pretty good as well so there's like an entire flat line as you can see so so the dose feature works pretty pretty good on this ROM so as you can see 15% and I've got over 4 hour 33 minutes of screen on time so that's like actually not bad then I thought why not use it more and why not test it for like up to 5% or so so I did that and as you can see for yourself when I was on, on 6% I still had approximately 1 hour 2 minutes left and the screen on time here was 5 hours and 6 minutes so that was like over 5 freaking hours I've never never been over 4.5 hours of screen run time even at 5 even at 5% but this rom is like really really good in that so yeah there you have it that's basically the 7.1.2 rom on our nexus 5x it has been like a really really smooth experience for me if you want to try it out on your daily driver this is basically my daily driver i'm rocking on so if you want to try it on your daily driver i'd say go ahead and try this rom it's like seriously the best rom I've ever tested. The performance is good, battery life is good, uh, minor bugs here and there but that will be fixed in the future update as well. So if you want to try it out, go ahead and try it out, I won't stop you. But yeah for now that's been it guys, thank you for watching this video, I have I know that it's been like only a day since I've tested this ROM. So if you want a revised review, I'll be doing that once we get the second beta release on this ROM. If you want to see that coming, just give this video a huge thumbs up and let me know in the comment section below what all videos should I make in the future. So yeah, that's been it guys, thanks for this video and I'll catch you guys in my next one.